Now, look, I was going to save this story for today's Prime News, and it would have probably made for a really sick headline. But I got to be honest, when it comes to Nintendo Switch 2, I don't like waiting and sitting on things for hours and hours on end, especially when it comes from a reputable place. And it's something that is worth talking about for two reasons. One, because this adds direct evidence to a few things, including the power of of the Nintendo Switch 2 because this is not a speculative thing at this point. This is literally coming from an actual game developer in public documentation thanks to a legal court case. Yes, folks, this has to do with Microsoft versus the FTC. And there are some emails that have now become publicly available that actually discuss at length the next generation Switch from Nintendo, and we're not just talking about like, oh, they're just talking back and forth and guessing what it is. No, they had actual meetings with Nintendo's president, Shintaro Furukawa, to talk about this next generation Switch. Guys, this is huge for a few reasons, but not huge for the reasons you're seeing in the headlines. That's right, there are headlines running around about this that are misrepresenting what the actual information is, and ignoring the context of what's actually important. So before we dive into these actual Nintendo Switch 2 details that come directly from Nintendo via Microsoft, we need to first remind you that, hey, if you're enjoying this video, I'd appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. We are trying to get to 150,000 subscribers this year. If you're enjoying the content, I would love if you gave it a like. And yeah, guys, go ahead and hit that bell so you can be notified of all future uploads and live streams. All right, so this is actually published over at The Verge, and we're gonna read a little bit of this article, not the entire thing, we'll link it down below, but, but I wanna make sure we have some context here. So it says, rumors of the Nintendo Switch 2 announcement have grown recently after reports of developer demos at Gamescom last month. Now, we know that Activision was briefed on the next generation Nintendo Switch last year thanks to internal emails from the FTC versus Microsoft case. Activision executives, including CEO Bobby Kotick, met with Nintendo executives in December of 2022 to discuss a next generation switch in an internal email chain. Chris Schackenberg, head of Activision's platform strategy and partner relations, prepared a summary of the Switch Next Gen inside a document labeled Next Gen Switch Draft. This document is heavily redacted, but it does reveal that performance of the next generation Switch will be close to that of PS4 and Xbox One. This, that line there is actually where the misinformation comes from, but let's get into the actual quotes from the email. Given the closer alignment to Gen 8 platforms in terms of performance and our previous offerings on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, it is reasonable to assume we could make something compelling for the next generation Switch as well. It would be helpful to secure access to development hardware prototypes and prove that out nice and early. The executive briefing summary and preparation materials were then sent on to Kotick ahead of the December 15th meeting with Nintendo CEO and President Shintaro Furukawa. Kotick went on to testify in the FTC versus Microsoft hearing that he regretted not bringing Call of Duty to the Switch. Now, the big thing to note here is obviously none of these emails contain what Bobby Kotick and Shintaro Furukawa talked about directly, right? He met with them on December 15th of 2022, specifically for the next generation Switch. Nintendo had sent some briefing materials, so they knew basically what, you know, what the meeting was going to be about, what they were going to get into. And it was the person who prepared that briefing material that revealed that it is, well, as their own words said, closer in alignment to generation eight platforms in PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Now, this closer to alignment stuff, 
let's correct the misinformation out there. There's a lot of headlines out there saying the Nintendo Switch 2 is as powerful as a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. That is not what the email says. The email says closer to alignment. They're obviously talking about the fact that the Nintendo Switch itself is not that close in power to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, whereas this next Switch is much closer to alignment with that. It's not you know, including DLSS. It's not including all the core features. Bobby Kotick himself is literally on record at the FTC versus Microsoft case. He's on record there saying he doesn't actually know what the specs of this thing was, and they did, did not have dev kits. Now, this was like back in earlier this year. This is before dev kits were obviously being sent out to a lot of companies. But there's a few things we do learn from this. One, and, and, and this is just reaffirmation, this is going to be a switch device okay so let, let's just put the nail in the coffin on this it's going to be a switch device there's a lot of people out there that still try to argue that we don't know that this is even going to be a hybrid handheld you know switch like device it is going to be that it has been legally referred to in the ftc versus microsoft case as switch next gen and by the way we now know that this wasn't just speculation on their part this was because Bobby Kotick met directly with the president of Nintendo to talk about this new hardware. All right. So, guys, this is a next generation switch. We, whether switch is in the name of the system, we don't know, but it was being referred to as a next generation switch because it was described to them by Nintendo themselves as a next generation switch. So, we, we can kind of put the bed you know, for any of the doubters out there that this wasn't going to be a Switch-like device. Another thing that we do know, and, and this could lead maybe to some credence of this platform coming out in earlier 2024. Again, this is a bit speculative, but it's based on a fact. Nintendo was talking to big name AAA publishers last year. Now, towards the end of last year, but still last year about the next generation device nintendo was already at the end of 2022 reaching out to big name AAA publishers to convince them to support the nintendo switch 2 now obviously trying to convince them to support it without a dev kit that's you know gonna be a little hard but at least convince them to order dev kits so they could try to put their games on there by arguing what the capabilities of the system are going to be. It's even possible, you know, those demos that we heard from, from Gamescom, that could have been shown to Bobby Kotick last year. We don't know because there's not an email that, you know, everything's so redacted. We don't really know what Nintendo was showing last year, but it's possible that Nintendo was already showing off these demos to major third-party publishers last year. So I'm just throwing out there that what we really learned from this is, one, that Activision seemed pretty pleased with whatever this was going to be, right? Closer in alignment to PS4 and Xbox One. This is in comparison to the original Switch. You got to have that full context. Like, yeah, the current Switch isn't that, you know, not even close to uh, on par. This new thing is going to be much closer to being on par. Could we even exceed it. Again, this was end of 2022. But what's really interesting, obviously, is that Nintendo was talking about this platform last year. And if they were talking to major publishers... It does suggest Nintendo had a plan for transition in place as early as late 2022. People talk about how, the, let me put it this way. I've had a lot of conversations with a lot of gamers online, a lot of podcasts with fellow content creators, and there seems to be this assumption that Nintendo doesn't know when they're launching their platform, that they're playing it by ear, that how well the Switch does this holiday, or how well Tears of the Kingdom sells, or Mario Wonder is going to change Nintendo's plans. When reality is, Nintendo has probably had these transition plans in place for over a year. They probably knew in 2022 exactly how they were going to handle transitioning to the next platform, including when they were planning to actually launch this thing. So, again, it's not much that we learned today. 
But it's important to understand that Nintendo's been talking behind the scenes to big name companies since last year about this platform, delivering dev kits to some of them significantly earlier than July of this year, but to a larger chunk of them at July of this year. Companies who weren't interested or already knew about the dev kits got to find out about these dev kits and, and, and probably get orders in and all that stuff at Gamescom this year with demos selling them on wanting to get you know dev units of this. Big name companies like Capcom have probably had dev kits for a long time. And we obviously have all the reports of March, March. What does March mean? March something coming out of Gamescom, which could be the potential launch of the system, if not the reveal of the system. So it, everything is lining up right now. And obviously how powerful this thing is. Look, yesterday we talked about Bulgars Gate 3, right? That was a big deal. Uh, potentially coming to Switch. I showed some of the evidence behind that. Uh, we've already obviously heard about the Matrix demo and stuff like that. So... The point I am just bringing up here is this, the headlines are wrong. <laughs> the headlines are telling you guys it's as powerful as the PS4 and Xbox One. And it very well could be, by the way. It's raw performance output could be that. Of course, most reports have it a little bit better than that, but that's besides the point. Obviously, none of this includes the modern features like DLSS. So what I'm trying to explain here is all this email really confirms is that Activision Blizzard was very happy with what Nintendo was telling them, that this is a Switch device, and Nintendo's been talking to big companies about it since last year. All right, guys, I'm Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.